Dean Robertson is a self-proclaimed privileged white South African who has decided to join Imizamoye to residence. Thousands of five victims have been living in these three by three meter temporary shacks for the past three months after losing their homes to a deadly fire. The city hasn't waterproofed these units. Uh, there's no drainage, there's no electricity. We're now in the middle of the Cape winter, as we all know. Robertson and a few other advantaged Howard Bay residents have been sleeping here for the weekend. Their action follows days of unrest in the community. Imizamoyetu residents have demanded the city's administration fast track the rebuilding of their homes. One person died during the protest action and the Independent Police Investigative Directorate is investigating. Us white privileged people, we white privileged people, if we were living in these conditions and we were made promises that were broken, and we didn't know what was going to happen tomorrow. We'd be in those rights with those people. Some of the five victims welcomed this initiative. I believe that one organization one so that this is going to change. One Heart Bay says it's planning other initiatives that will include skills development for this community. Ah, Tim Tongana, Imizamoyetu in Heart Bay.